Namaste, Grand Rising Big Cat Air Signs. Welcome or welcome back to Big Cat Astrology, Big Cat Wave, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Sun, Moon and Rising, the planetary hot topics to add to your almanac over the next seven days. On the 14th of May, Ceres, the asteroid linked to nurturing something from seed to harvest, is in retrograde. In Capricorn, over the coming months, series retrograde prompts introspection about your nurturing instincts, particularly in your professional life. Take this time to reconsider career strategies, navigating the complexities of the, of the corporate world with greater insight. Be mindful of your public image during this reflective phase as vulnerabilities may surface. On the 15th, Mercury enters Taurus. It's time for stability and practicality in communication and decision making. Reflect on financial strategies, business plans and interpersonal dynamics with a methodical approach. Embrace the patience and deliberation, ensuring your actions align with your long-term goals. On the 16th, Phallus retrogrades in Scorpio. Explore your subconscious and your intuition. This period prompts self-reflection and transformation, encouraging you to delve into taboo subjects and expand your worldview. On the 17th, Mercury in Taurus squares Pluto in Aquarius. This aspect challenges you to approach obstacles strategically and patiently. Success lies in calculated moves and foresights rather than impulsive, impulsiveness. Focus on long-term implications rather than seeking instant gratification. On the 18th, Venus in Taurus aligns with Uranus in Taurus. Expect surprises in matters of the heart as spontaneity and adventure take the lead. Embrace novelty in relationships and connections with with an eye on personal growth. Don't hesitate to explore the unfamiliar for transformative experiences. On the 19th, the sun in Taurus forms a sextile with Neptune in Pisces. Tap into intuition and creativity to unlock hidden insight and artistic potential. Dream big and embrace sensitivity and intuitive awareness for personal and spiritual growth. On the 20th, the sun in Gemini. Prepare for mental stimulation and lively disclosure. Engage in diverse conversations and explore varied topics with curiosity and open-mindedness. Please stay tuned in for the tarot reading to follow. Make a wave! Namaste, Grand Rising Air Signs. Welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for messages for the next seven days. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. dive right in and unpack. Okay. Oh, gave you a bit of vertigo then, did I? Right, let's press on at a hot trot. Oh, 
Okay, you have an energy of a seven, darling dears. There's three and there's four. We'll unpack that in a moment. But you, big cat, have landed on the six. Okay, the energy of the six. This is a um, low shui grid, Chinese numerology. Okay, um, it speaks about what you having helpful friends, helping hands, um, people that are being of service to you, darling dears. This is like the support is being sent your way over the next seven days, darling dears. So it also speaks about this support can come from a spiritual community um, in the full form of guidance. Some of you are going to be helped or assisted to relocate if that is what your, your intent and purpose was. Mm -hmm. It speaks about synchronicities, darling dears. Things lining up for you in a way that you didn't expect. You are in the northwesterly direction, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Or you're traveling towards the northwest, okay? Um, the energy of the six is also telling us, darling dears, <coughs> that you are about to what? Balance out your responsibilities and your relationships. And how do you do that? By using your cranium, darling dears. You're an air sign. You can work out anything. Why? Because you lead with logic, darling dears. Logic and a little bit of OCD. You know the repetitive thought? Yes. You thought about a different... A million different scenarios, so you possibly got the right answer, darling dears. Mm -hmm. The negative side of the six, um, it speaks about, <coughs> excuse me, my civil play, um, being being wary of being too critical, darling dears, or or being too detached. Well, it's you can be an ambivert, darling dears. Ambivert. That's between extrovert and introvert. Be ambivert if you can't be anything else. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's drop down and get our eagle on. The energy of the three speaks about conflict and confusion, arguments, darling dears, gossip, slander, subterfuge. That's bubbling in the background. You also have the energy of the four. It speaks about communication, all forms of communication, bodily, written, spoken. Yeah, someone or someone is about to be chucking shade at you. You've got the energy of the three on top. And again, it's major shade, darling dears, major slandering. Or somebody might be trying to do a sneak attack. Mm, or a sneak diss, just like Drake. Yeah, listen, baby, I've been watching. <laughs> and what's that? What's that last one by Kendrick Lamar? Not like us. Good golly and gosh, if that's not a bopper, I don't know what is. Anyhow, so many people have coined it, darling dears, and using it for their own na national anthem. Anyway, yeah, let's press on. The energy of the seven. Um, you could be a life path seven or the number seven, 16 or 25 could have some significance in your life, darling dears, over the next seven days. The number seven is associated with the letters G, P, Y. Um, the number seven is ruled by Neptune. Neptune rules Pisces. Neptune, the planet of um, dreams, disillusionment, addictions. Yes, I know, darling dears. It's about mysticism. Um, Neptune also rules the feet, so your feet are going to be touching a new direction over the next seven days. Mm -hmm. Using your intuition, and you're going to also notice that your intuition, that inner voice, darling, is, is going to be on one thou thou. Mm -hmm. Your luckiest numbers over the next seven days will be four, five, and seven, as well as the number seven, as I said, seven, sixteen, and twenty-five. Okay. Um, your luckiest days are Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday. Avoid the numbers 2, 3, 6, and 8. Number 7 is represented by the astro astrological aspect of um, a semi-sextile. So this is helium, and this is part of your transformative journey, a spiritual journey. You've learned forgiveness, using that forgiveness on self first. Well, guess what? That's how it goes, darling. Just pour into yourself before you can give it to anyone else. Mm -hmm. The seven also speaks about genius, darling dears. You are going to be getting some genius ideas, making genius moves. It also speaks about you having learned a new level of knowledge or wisdom from from um, introspection, darling dears. Introspection. 
Mm -hmm. The energy of the seven again speaks about the spirituality. Some people are seeing you as a mystery. And this is possibly why they're what? They're out there, the merchants of slander. Again, the energy of the seven is, I'm getting the feeling of relocation. Someone is definitely going to be relocated. Okay. Mm -hmm. For others, um, someone is going to be telling you something that is going to have a profound effect on your life, darling dears. Changing your direction. Okay, use that knowledge wisely. Mm -hmm. The energy of the three and the four also speaks about happiness in love. The love could be love of self, love in a relationship. But remember, if it's a relationship that, that fires up very quickly, darling dears, that's, that's temporary gratification for what possibly could be what? A lifetime of regret. Listen, avoid, avoid, read the room shorty. Let's carry on at a hot trot. So we have the energy of Neptune. Which is saying sacrifice. You sacrifice something. Possibly what your ego darling is. Mm -hmm. Learning new things. Closed eyes. This looks like a high priestess. Going within darling dears. It also speaks about secret. Secret wounds that you've healed. The ten speaks about ending of a cycle. Which goes down to a one. Which is a new beginning for you darling dears. An extremely new beginning. Which you have created for yourself. Mm -hmm. The energy of the one. Speaks about you being in a leadership role. Um, being in your independence, this is self-autonomy, self-reliant, love it, I don't hate it, it's about you what, taking a new approach, darling dears, mm -hmm. so we have the seven, so this is going to be about the seventh house, darling dears, the house of partnerships, um, relationships, contracts, your peers, um, colleagues, subordinates, Yes, yes, yes. But it's also going to be the, about the arena of the open enemy. So someone or someone is looking daggers at you, darling, dears, and sending that negative energy away. Possibly. Why? Because you're a badass. <laughs> and if, listen, you must be doing something good if they're sending that she's nigh to you instead of focusing on their own astro turf. Good golly and gosh, what's the matter with them? Feeble minded dummy bats, darling, dears. Feeble minded. The seventh house comes through for four, darling dears. You've manifested some kind of stable structure or you've put your plans into operation. Listen, you ain't playing, darling dears. Um, the seventh house, um, you could be um, in banking, some form of business, a judge working in a legal field, um, a political career, um, something that is client-based consulting um a business working for a business could it even be a government business because the seventh house darling dears is juxtaposed to the first house and those professions is anything that where you're in a leadership field or a managerial role you could be self-employed um pioneering into a new field darling dears but whatever you're doing you're, it's going to lead you to some form of notoriety fame but it's also telling me that you enjoy working alone. Listen, sometimes you've got to go out there. I said, be ambivert. Be ambivert, but protect your energies. Dark obsidian crystal on your person at all times. Mm -hmm. Mocha sipped, because we ain't getting smoked. Let's get your oracle ancestral message. I'm going to use the fairy cards. I haven't used them in a very long time. Oracle deck. Temptation, darling, is temptation, temptation, lead us not into temptation. Are you in denial about an unhealthy habit? Perhaps one that makes you feel guilty. The fairies say you have the power to overcome temptation, whatever it's guys. Don't let no one lead you into fucker these blood. So listen, when people are slandering, they're going to try and draw you out, especially in a working in environment. They may try to ask you trick questions, right? Yeah, but you have to understand your intentions are pure and so are theirs, darling. Dears. Their intentions will be to bring you down. It says um, the fairy of manifestation will help you to use your wishes wisely. Manifest your heart's desire with pure intention and for the highest good of all, darling dears. Lots of green energy. It's also about protecting your heart chakra, darling dears. The heart chakra frequency 
is the 639 Venus Friday Venus energy yeah Venus is um Taurus as well as Libra energy darling dears base of the deck a magic gateway a portal so this is definitely a new beginning for you darling dears an opportunity that you're about to step into darling dears it also speaks about because one side of the door is dark you you have not been part in a situation for some time going back into a new environment or the same environment darling dears but it's a new chapter this is something like regeneration um some kind of un unavoidable change maybe you've been away sick you've had some kind of healing could be to do with your feet um we've also had first house energy darling dears so it could be something to do with your head um um your genitals your buttocks yes darling dears all of this and that um mm -hmm. okay A new beginning for you darling there's a new chapter a new phase but this is opportune darling dears you are being guided to take this step because why transformation is through this door remember i told you that no weapon formed against you is prospering darling dears doesn't matter about those tongue wrestling what dummy bats let them say what they want to say because it says more about them than you and the people that are putting up with that level level of what treachery they're they're from the same tree tree sloth darling dears the same they're from the same tribe low vibing darling dears look evil jumped right up well guess what evil spelt backwards is live right yeah it's because of some kind of foundation and security and this is about co-workers darling dears like i said the six houses about your health and well-being you may have had a separation from your work your employment a situation because of your health we've also got the seventh house out darling dears listen it's not playing colleagues darling dears this is about colleagues and people that you work with mm -hmm. it could also represent seventh houses all partnerships relationships yes 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 bestie all of this and that it also speaks about some form of contract which is about to be signed Somebody's also going to be realised that they've got admirers. Mm -hmm. People are going to be making themselves known. But remember, not everybody that presents as a friend is actually your friend, darling dears. Something to do with a paternal grandfather or maternal grandmother. Maybe this is where the elements, those physical elements that I've just listed or said. Um, somebody's definitely going to be signing some form of agreement, darling dears. It could also represent an NDA yes 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 mm -hmm. to have their loyalty what signed sealed and delivered darling dears but again this is about somebody possibly going back into the maybe you're going back out into the working field darling dears or maybe you're putting something out into the public arena but it's drawing a lot of what haterade darling dears people that are sending chuck they're chucking evil at you darling dears evil mm -hmm. look what's on the base well, they're going to reap what they sold, hang man. This is about you seeing the whole thing from a different perspective, darling. Just look, all of these major arcana coming out. And again, the lover's card and the tower. Oh, my God. Right? And your ancestors ain't playing with you. Good golly and gosh. We've, I think we've got a whole plethora of... of in, in law enforcement, this would be called an audio of evidence when everything is just here. Yeah, you've got... You got two sixes on the tablets, the lovers and the sixth house. When we see the energy of 66, it says what well, beware. You have to beware, darling dears, of what? Putting other people's needs before your own. The sixth house is also about your own well-being. But it's definitely saying, saying that your your daily task is about to, to um take a take a change, darling dears. But this was a necessary change. But I believe that if you was you was away from a circumstance or situation, wherever you created your security and foundation, darling dears, you needed that time. Why? Because you had to what heal, tower a moment, change your perspective, right? Yeah, this could be getting over a divorce, um, some as I said, some kind of illness, breaking up with family members, whatever the situation was for you. My air sign, darling dears. Yeah, base of the deck. What's this? Look at this. You got a, you broke some kind of generational curse. This is caught in Keitha and Malkuth, darling dears. You broke a generational curse. 
So whatever healing that you've done, darling, dear Cindy, it's also what you've been body conscious. Maybe you've started exercising. It also speaks about voluntary work or you're doing, you're putting something out there to give healing to others, darling, dears. Oh, I absolutely love it. I don't hate it. Good golly and gosh. Let's get deck. Base of your deck, look, tower moment. Twice, darling, dears, the duality of balance. The energy of the two, again, speaks about high priestess energy. It also speaks about your intuition and your discernment, but this is also a sudden change or a necessary change that is coming into your life over the next seven days. Oh, golly and gosh. All of this, this energy, but that evil energy, darling, dears. Listen, you will be able to read the room shorty, as I said. <coughs> Listen with your third eye, darling dears. Be slow to speak and quick to listen. This one trying to stop here. Look, with God bless, no man can curse. Hierophant energy also speaks about your job. You may be um, a counsellor in a position, a legal position, working for a government agency. It could also speak about working working for someone. Maybe it's not in within a government agency, but it also speaks about your money. The Hierophant is the second house, darling dears. Yes. We've got the page of cups. Your money up to this point hasn't been to the level that you're used to. Yeah, because you had to what? Step back. But it's about you getting a new work ethic, darling. Yes, you're also going to be getting some kind of an apology from someone. Someone who is attracted to you, darling. Yes. Yeah. Someone who wounded you, darling. Yes. Good golly and gosh. Well, you had to run for your spiritual strength. It was a love situation or friendship friendship situation. Gemini energy would also represent an um, a sibling. Mm -hmm. But when they come to with this what apology, it's a new dawn and a new day. Death card, eighth house. You're focused on different things. It also speaks about a spiritual journey. You're about to disappointment. You know who this person or people are, darling dears, that are trying to what come back with a fake apology after they said what they said and did what they did. Okay, let's look at your finances. Fell off the back end. Listen, your finances has taken a bit of a downturn, darling dears, but you're about to be in it to win it. This is about you what focusing, focusing on your creativities, on what you can build for yourself. You're not you're telling yourself reality now. You're an air sign after all. This could also represent um, an employer, or you could be an entrepreneur, darling dears. But it also speaks about bossing up financially. Yeah, something that you was intuitively guided to do, darling dears. Mm -hmm. And again, the death card, a new day for you, darling dears. Major arcana, other people's money. You may even have a business online. Yeah. Five of Pentacles. Up to this point, it hasn't really been doing as well as you like. But you're going to have a new opportunity to be shown as a boss in your field, king and queen. You also have a fated meeting. A fated meeting. A destined meeting this week. Pay attention, my air signs. Pay attention. Yeah. There's going to be an attraction there, darling dears. But it's going to be about recognising of energies. This could be in the, for support of, in the form of supportive people or person. Yeah. To bring about this new beginning, darling dears. Death card. Mm -hmm. Your money has been a bit funny, but it's about to turn around, darling dears. Okay, what about my single air signs? Single air signs. King of Wands. And the Wheel of Fortune. As I said, you're on a destined path, darling dears. You are a natural born leader. You may even be in the public, have a public speaking platform. It tells me that you are extremely charming, but you're also highly intuitive. There's a mysterious air about you. Yeah, you've been wounded before, nine of once, but it also speaks about your spiritual strength. This is you looking back at the decision that you made in the past, darling dears. What about this decision? Listen. You're going to have an opportunity to redo it, darling dears. Listen, the wheel of fortune is turning in your favour. But when, you, when, you're, when you're going back going back to correct a decision that you made, darling dears, this is about you. This is not about someone else. But the environment that you're going back into, it's going to be a, going to be a den of vipers, darling dears. Yeah, continue to what? Keep your secrets. Don't tell out your personal business, darling dears. Because it looks like you're here to what? Get your finances back on track. You've been isolated for some time. Hermit well-being could be a health issue, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Page of Cups. Page of Cups. 
it's, it's, you're going to get lukewarm greetings, darling dears. Lukewarm greetings, especially if you've been from work, but no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Yeah, you're going to go, somebody's going back into a work environment or going back into the, or if you haven't been off, the energy, you've been away, found a way to transmute this energy, seventh house, you know who your enemies are. You've called in your ancestral team, your security, darling dears. This talks about being prospective, going back into a situation where you felt like you was being sacrificed, hanging on. There's a lot of evil energy, lots of backstabbing and bureaucracy, darling dears, but you're going back a different cat. You prayed for inspiration. You went within and found the answer. No one can take you off your, your good mood unless you choose it, darling dears. No one can make you have a bad day unless you choose. Yeah, you know how to what? Keep yourself to yourself. Isolate yourself from the negative energies. Split in the deck and that's the right choices that you're making. I also see the signing of some form of a contract, darling dears. A new contract for my smalls. How about those in a partnership or relationship? Definitely going back into new groups, possibly diverse people, my singles. What about those in a partnership or a relationship? Justice, darling dears. Justice card, as I said, also speaks about the relationships. We're in the seventh house, and this is the seventh house, darling dears. Let's go again. This is a stable foundation, darling dears, whether it's a business partnership, a friendship, or even a relationship or marriage, darling dears. There's been a lot of what? Um, unclear talk. This is like an agreement to keep your personal business to yourself, darling dears, because you're about to what? Come into the money. This is your money cycle. I believe that you're building together, whether it's a relationship or a business, but there's loyalty amongst you, darling dears. You're amongst the right partner. Yeah, whatever happened in the past, whatever stumbling blocks you had, you're about to overcome them. You've got the Wheel of Fortune and the Tenth Cup being in an emotional alignment, darling dears. This is a good partnership, a good relationship, a good friendship, darling dears. There's healing. This also speaks about long talks and it also speaks about it being extremely supportive. As you support them, they support you. Love it. It's the new perspective, but it comes from what? A higher mind and everybody working for the better good. Wow. Money is looking good. Your communication is looking good. This is having good times. Good family times, darling dears. Deepening connections. Possibly what? Um, making your social circle bigger from family times because family, if it's, a, if it's like a barbecue someone might bring a friend you know what I'm saying, diverse group you've got the ten of swords on its forehead darling dears on its forehead this is what the new start for you darling dears, new start this also speaks about healing and recovery darling dears, whatever situation or circumstance that you've possibly been worrying about Healing is on its way. And the swords is about spiritual energy. It's about you using your mind. Be slow to speak, but quick to listen, darling dears. Remember, it's always a test before the blessing. We saw the energy of the Hierophant, Queen of Swords. I can't make it up. You are professor of the puzzle, darling dears. This is about you being the moving silence champion. This is you overcoming many things, my air elements, darling dears, because you, you've realized that you you don't have to sacrifice yourself to situations this is also about you being in your own energy darling dears loving your energy this is about you creating some kind of freedom even if you're in a relationship or a partnership this is about you having self-autonomy within that situation darling dears but it's through what talking and having understanding on both sides darling dears yeah somebody's definitely in regret somebody's crying into their fist darling dears that's the difference between what a judas and a peter this is regret and not remorse yeah whoever that person is coming to cry wolf they're what a pack front neck tabber darling dears don't take them back in isolate yourself protect your energies and that's the truth roof mm -hmm. final card we'll go with the kipper deck Fell in the reverse, darling dears. Immature behavior, darling dears. World Wide Web. This could be people cyber bullying or trying to see what you're doing, darling dears. It can also speak about what? Under judgment. Somebody may have to talk, um, be taking someone to court because of defamation of character or because of some kind of discrimination within a workplace, a working environment, darling dears. Remember, I told you that. But everything is going in your favor. Why you got the wheel of fortune, darling dears? On that note, I drops me mic. And as I always say, don't get smoked.
and don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, make your way until we meet again on these tarot streets. Cat, 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 cat.